All right, everyone, we're going to get started with dragging off in the character episodes to get the ending. So let's get to it. Known as the White Angel of Death, Sergei Dragunov is feared around the world for his prowess in battle. As the conflict between G Corporation and the Mishima Zaibatsu enveloped the planet in chaos, he received new orders. Enter the King of Iron Fist Tournament and seize control of the Mishima Zaibatsu for himself. Dragunov assented with his usual cold and detached demeanor and set out to join the tournament. Well, there you go. There's Dragunov, so he has to enter the tournament so he can get control of the Mishima Zaibatsu. Zaibatsu. I can't even talk today. Zaibatsu. There you go. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> but it's like, I, I'm trying to remember myself that uh, Dragunov was Dragunov. Like, I do not know very much about his backstory. But I don't know if there's a backstory to why he doesn't talk. I mean, he makes noises or, you know, whatever type of thing he always does to technically speak so it's very unfortunate i do not know i think he might be the only character in tekken series where he does not communicate with his voice at all i mean he basically does but he always like has to be angry about it or the way he's you know speaks up whatever so i don't know like i don't know very much about him but it's it's new, of course, for the Tekken series. Or at least for most fighting games out there. I'm not sure there's another character like Dragunov where he does not talk at all. Or he doesn't say anything. And he, he just does whatever he wants, basically. So, let's play as him. Oh, very nice. Ah, oh, man, I dropped it. That's fine. Not gonna lie, his moves are not bad at all, but I still feel like some of them are, are unsafe right now. But still, it's not bad at all, uh, playing as him. I feel like in Tekken 7, I think he just felt a little slow. Like, of course, now here is a little bit more faster. But I feel like in 7, he just felt slow. And there he goes, off to the next fight. The next Law. Oh, I guess this is where probably the recruiting. Come and get some. I dare you. That's one. my guessing right now. He recruits Fight. them. That's that's what I have a feeling he's gonna do at the end. But we'll see right now. Oh, ducked over, okay. Huh. Did not know that was possible, okay. And we know we already know that down forward too. Oh my god. I remember that move being not overpowered, but something that people do not like very much in Tekken 7, of course. No, aw, oh, man. Alright, here we go. Or is it back to? No. That's, yeah, that one. Down forward. Man, it's crazy that Again, that move was very good. Not sure it's good at any more because, of course, knowing how things are. <clears throat> Would that be it? No! He had to hit the wall, but that's fine. I did it. <laughs> I wonder why he does that. Oh, well. And I guess our last match will most likely be Victor or Lars. It's gonna be one of those two. We oh, got Raven. Oh, Alright, Raven. I'm not gonna lie, he, I, I'm so glad that he's back. Like, really glad that he's back. 
but we'll talk about that a little bit more once we get up to him, of course. Oh, gotta be careful with that raise drive. Oh no! But yeah, there's not really much I can say about Dragunov. Like, I, again, I think he's interesting character. I, I wouldn't say I like him a lot. It's just unfortunate that, you know, I gotta watch all the cutscenes of him once again just to see what his purpose is to defeat the Mishima Zaibatsu. But I do wonder, are there other characters like him? Like in fighting games? But I don't know. It's, we'll just have to <laughs> search it up. So it is going to be Victor. So the White Angel of Death. Alright, let's do it. Nope. All right, there we go. Nice. Yeah, that down four is crazy. Nope. Yeah, let's get the grab. Break his arm. All right, one more to go. Oh, man. Oh, very nice with Victor. Uh-huh. Oh, that's a that could be a low. Oh no. Feels like he's gonna be a mix-up character for sure, but geez. What? Okay. I'm surprised that was a grab. There we go. Oh. We're almost done here. Oh, you gotta like that. The heat tag has sort of armor. Oh, no, I could have ended it with one more swing. There we go. And we are done. Well, as we all know, I think he's mostly not gonna say anything, but let's see the ending. The Mishima Zaibatsu, as well as its myriad assets, were placed under the supervision of Dragunov's homeland, and thus the White Angel of Death was finally given a brief yet well-deserved rest. Oh, so he got into model kits. <laughs> he likes model kits? Okay, I did not know this at all. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was gonna say, that's cute. <laughs> Yeah. So I, I do not believe that he did all of this just to get model kid. Uh oh. The world tank collections discontinued tank kit 99 to be final kit. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, Mokujin Tank. Moko Tank. <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's real funny. But, man, I, I did not expect that ending at all. But that was going to be something else. <laughs> Got me good, Tekken. Got me good. Very good. Money. Uh, the title, and of course, uh, you could change out his alternate costume from his original Tekken 8. Uh, just change it up a little bit. I think you just remove the code, I think. But that's pretty much it right here with Dragonoff. So make sure to click the videos on screen. If you do want to check out the rest of the character episodes, as well, subscribe to the channel for more fighting game content. But as always, keep on playing and getting for life, guys. See you later.